Welcome to this video series where we will be discussing Weebly as an e-portfolio creation tool. It is one of the three supported by the School of Communications at Elon University. So this is the splash screen for Weebly. This is the home page for Weebly. So if you are brand new to the process, you are going to want to sign up with Weebly. I already have an account with Weebly, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And there might be a little bit of overlap or a little slight difference in the process if you are just brand new creating an account with Weebly versus someone who already has one. But it shouldn't be too different, and we should get on the same page really quickly here. So let me log in. Okay, so... I've created sites in the past with Weebly, but I deleted them out so I could start from the very beginning. And hopefully after, if you were brand new and you just created an account, you got to a screen very similar to this really quickly. Basically, we are in the beginning of creating our first site on the Weebly platform. So the options that it asks you for the kind of site that you want, well, I really think the only one that should seem like it fits to you is creating just a traditional site. We're definitely not creating a blog, and we're definitely not creating an e-commerce store of any sort. So let's select site, and very quickly, it's gonna want us to choose a theme. And what a theme is, is basically it is a design theme are a set of design rules that sort of dictates the way that your site looks and the way that it is laid out. So that should be something you're pretty familiar with. It's not anything too crazy to think about. A theme is exactly like the word theme would describe. It's it's what's dictating the, the, the look and feel of your site. So when we are talking about e-portfolios, I think something that's very important to consider is that you are creating an e-portfolio of your work and in that sense your work is what should be the most prominent thing on your site. So basically what I'm saying is if you create a if you pick a theme that's too flashy, that's too too much visual stuff going on and uh, it can easily outweigh the work that you are trying to showcase on your ePortfolio. So in that sense, we want to pick a theme that looks nice to us but is relatively simple and doesn't really make the site seem too flashy or too... I don't know, uh, to, to, to visually jarring in any sense. We want to compromise here. We want to find something relatively simple. So a lot of these really do look like they're, they're, they're pretty nice and they're, they're pretty simple layouts. And as you can imagine, there are tons and tons and tons of themes that are available to you for free. So you, you know, may want to take some time looking through all of these. I'm going to go ahead and just pick one real quick that I think is, is pretty straightforward and pretty nice. And really that is, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick this one called Stripes. And you see that when I hover over it, it actually allows me some other options as to what it's going to look like. And I would suspect that I could even go in in the future and tweak these again if I needed to. Another great thing about themes is that just because you picked one when you started doesn't mean that you're stuck with it forever. You can always go in through Weebly and change that theme if you want to do it. So now that I've got my you know beginning theme picked out, it's going to say choose your website domain. And what, what they're asking is what do you want your URL or what do you want your website's name to be and address to be? And since we are using the free version of, of Weebly, and I would you know, recommend that you stick with the free version, there's really no need to go out and pay money for this service when the f features provided to you through, through the free domain and the free website creation is, is more than adequate for what you need to do. If you want to go out and pay 
for better features and all that, you know, you're free to do that, but there's really no need to. I'm, I'm telling you that you can make a perfectly fine ePortfolio with the free functionality of Weebly. The only thing about that is is that no matter what we decide our, our website's name, it's always going to be appended by the .weebly.com in the URL. It's really not that big of a deal if you ask me. So if you have a very common name, you probably won't be able to name it after yourself. So like for instance, I'll give it a try. Kenneth Wilson weebly.com is taken and if you've got uh you know anything close to a fairly common name it's going to be near impossible for you to have just your name but you do want to try your best to create your url or your site's name as something that reflects you so trying your name is really good you could try doing your last name first name or combinations of that and actually, Wilson Kenneth is available, which is uh, really surprising to me, but let's, let's go with that. So we'll click continue. And that's pretty much it. You are ready to go. You've created an account, you've picked a theme, and you've made a name for it. So in essence, you have your site created. At this point, nothing is visible to the public because you need to you need to publish it first and we'll see in the future in the videos when we're working with adding content and stuff like that anytime you make a change to your site you need to make sure you publish it because if you don't it won't be visible to the to to the public at large if they were to go onto it um, that'll make sense to you more as you're working with it but just for the sake of making sure we've got something up Let's go ahead and click publish, even though I know I haven't really added or done anything yet, but that's fine. And w when we do that, and I suspect that every time we do it in the future, uh, Weebly is going to try to upsell you again. They're going to say, hey, this is you know your site, H, uh, you know kennethwilson.weebly.com, but you can register a new one uh, at whatever you want it to be or choose your own if you want to pay money to do it. So we can always just kind of pretty much ignore it and click continue and it's going to publish it and it's going to say your website's published you know and here's a big huge link for you to go to http colon slash slash wilson kenneth dot weebly dot com and if i click and open that in the new tab there we go there is our e-portfolio that's live up on the world wide web at wilson kenneth dot weebly dot com of course, there's nothing in it yet because we haven't added any content to it or done anything. But we will do that in the coming videos. But for now, that's how we got. That's how we get started, and that's how we get our ePortfolio up live on the World Wide Web. See you in the next video.